All right. This is my house. This is what my son has to go through to walk to the bus. Now, that's about 100 yards from my house to where I'm standing. This is what my son has to go through to catch the bus with the BF County Board of Education. This is where they deem his bus stop was to be. Okay. This is my neighbor's house. This is Mike. Nice guy. That's my other neighbor across the street. They're very watchful. And uh, for the past five years, he actually caught the bus right here on this corner. This is the corner of Forest Vine Drive in Ridge Circle. As you can see, that's my house. That's Mr. Mike's house. That's my neighbor's house. This is the stop sign right here. While the actual bus, I don't know if you can see that stop sign, but I just put it right up to it. That's how dark it is out here. Now, this is where my son was catching the bus for the last five years, right here. Now, this is where they want him to catch the bus at now. Now, I'm walking. That's another house. That's another house. Now, they want to say that this is uh, a fair distance for him to walk to catch the bus, but uh, I don't see it like that. We got other kids in the neighborhood uh, of the Caucasian persuasion that get the bus picked up, get bus picked up right in front of their homes. And if it's not right in front of their homes, it's not even a hundred yards from where the stop is. And uh, I don't know what you call it, but 2013, I call that a Willie Lynch racist move. This guy by the name of Steve Agnew is the one that uh, routes the buses. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how he routes all the stops to where they're really convenient for the Caucasian persuasion, but inconvenient for other ethnicities in the community. Now this is the corner of Old Oak and Ridge Circle. Now if you can't see it, that's how dark it is out here. Now surrounding me, turn the what on? Nah, how you do that? This shit, it ain't at the top. Nope. Hey, don't worry about it. I just want to see how dark it is out here. Now, that's him standing right there in front of me. If you can see him, which I doubt you can. And I got a picture right in his face, you can't even see him. That's how dark it is out here. But they want him to catch the bus at this location, and they want him to sit here till the bus gets here. Now, I'm going to cut this thing off for a second, but I'm going to cut it right back on when this uh, bus pulls up and show you where she wants him to catch the bus at, which is totally ridiculous. He has to walk up. 75 to 100 yards to catch the bus away from the corner. Oh yeah, she passed the street to go out of the subdivision, which is crazy to me. Okay, here's the bus coming. Coming down the hill. Pick you up on. Now 
Now I want you to see this stop. She has to stop right there in the corner to get out of the subdivision. Stop. Pull off. Why can't my sub be picked up right there instead of right here? In the darkness with no body around. That's my question to you, America, Georgia, Macon, Bill County School Board. What's wrong with this picture? I'll tell you what's wrong with this picture. What's wrong with this picture is, is that I'm a taxpayer. And in 2013, there's still racist, motivated actions that are still going on in the Bill County School Board. And I don't appreciate it. Let me know what you think.